As I was going to Derby all on a market day, I met the biggest Rammy boys that ever was fed on hay. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you've been in Derby, you've seen the same as I. He had four feet to walk upon, had four feet to stand, and every foot that he set down, it covered an acre of land. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen the same as I. The horns that grew on this ram's head, they grew so very long. And every time he shook his up, they rattled against the sun. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen the same as I. The wool on this ram's back, my boys, grew so very high. The eagles come and built their nests, and I heard the young ones cry. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen the same as I. This ram, my lads, he fed him twice a day And every time he opened his mouth He swallowed a rick of hay And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads I never was known to lie And if you'd been in Derby You'd seen him the same as I This ram, he had two horns, my lads That reached up to the moon Little boy went up in January And he didn't get back till June And, and indeed, lads, it's true, my lads I never was known to lie And if you'd been in Derby now this old ram, he had a tail that reached right down to hell And every time he waggled it, it rung the old church bell And indeed, my lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen him the same as I The butcher that stuck this ram, my lads, was up to his knees in blood and the little boy who held the bowl was carried away by the flood. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen him the same as I. Now all the men in Derby come a begging for his eyes to punt up and down the Derby streets, for they were a football size. And indeed, lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie. And if you'd been in Derby, you'd seen him the same as I. boys at Derby to carry away his bones, took all the girls at Derby to roll away as that's a lie indeed. Lads, it's true, my lads, I never was known to lie, and if you'd been in Derby, you'd seem to save as I. Now the man who fattened this ram, my boys, he must have been very rich, and the man who sung this song must be a lion, son of a... So now my song is ended, I've nothing more to say, but give us another pint of beer and we'll all of us go away. When I was a bachelor, young and bold, I followed a roving track. And all the harm that ever I done, I could get a handsome maid. I would her all the summer time and the past. To the winter too, and the only harm that ever I done was to keep off the foggy dew. It was all on one night about twelve o'clock. When I lay fast asleep, there came this maid to my bedside, and bitterly she did weep. 
She wept, she moaned, she tore her hair and she cried, What shall I do? So all that night I held her tight just to keep off the foggy dew. Well, all the first part of that night, how we did sport and play, and all the latter part of that night, snug in my arms she lay. And when the broad daylight appeared, she cried, I am undone. Oh, hold your tongue, you silly young girl, for the foggy you have gone. I never told nobody her name, and damn me. Miss the time I think of that night when I kept off the foggy dew. Now come all you young sailors and listen to me plea, and when you've heard me tell you'll pity me. For I was a goddamn fool in the port of Liverpool The very first time I came home from sea Now I paid off at the home from the port of Sierra Leone Three pound ten a month it was me pay But I wasted all my tin whilst drinking up the gin With a little girl whose name was Maggie May Now well do I remember where I first met Maggie May She was cruising up and down in Canning Place She was dressed up mighty fine like a frigate of the line So being a ranting sailor I gave chase I kept right on her track, she went on the other tack But I caught her and I broke her mizzen line Next morning I awoke with a head more bent than broke No coat, no vest, no trousers could I find I asked her where they were, she said, me good kind sir, they're down at Park Lane Pawn Shop number nine. Now you've had your cake and bun, and it's time for you to run, or you'll never make the dockside lad in time. To the pawn shop I did go, but no trousers could I find, and the police came and took that girl away. And the judge he found her guilty of robbing a homeward bounder, so now she's doing time in Botany Bay. Oh, Maggie, Maggie May, they've taken you away, never more to roam alone down Cannon Place. For you robbed too many whalers, and you boxed too many sailors, now you'll never see old Lime Street anymore. There were six jolly tradesmen come rambling over the hill. Come rambling over the hill, my boys, for they were a cheerful crew. They all sat down for to be merry, they called for a bottle of wine. Oh, Sherry, you're welcome over the hill, says Nelly, when Johnson's ale was new. The first come in was a soldier, and no captain ever looked bolder. His gun on his right shoulder, his good broadsword he drew. He said he'd fight with all his might before old England should be drunk dry, and so they spent a rowdy night when Johnson's ale was new. The next come in was a hatter, and he began to chatter. He asked what was the matter among the jovial crew. 
He dashed his hat into the ground and he flung the landlord off the crown and the company drank his health all round when Johnson's ale was new. Then in come a jolly mason, his hammer to put a face on. No man could be more decent among the jovial crew. He dashed his trowel against the wall and he wished every church and steeple would fall so there would be work for masons all. When Johnson's hell was new. The last came a ragman weary, his rag bag he did carry. And he was already merry among the jovial crew. While he was kissing and squeezing the lasses, they burned his rag bag all to ashes when Johnson's ale was new, my boys. When Johnson's ale was new. The ale was always improving and nobody thought of moving. The longer they sat boozing, the greater friends they grew. So rowdily they drank about until the ale had all run out. And they asked old Johnson to give him a shout. When he had brewed a new It's of a brisk young butcher, as I have heard him say. He arrived at an inn in Newcastle all on a market day. He called for liquor of the best, being butter of in blade, and presently his eye set upon the chambermaid. He called her for a candle to light him up to bed And when she come into the room these words to her he said A golden sovereign I'll give all to enjoy your charms So all that night this mate she rolled all in the butcher's arms It was early next morning he rose to go away Says the landlord here's the reckoning bill that you forgot to pay Oh no, then says the butcher, and you needn't think it's strange. One sovereign I have give you a maid, and haven't got the change. They called the pretty chambermaid, and charged her with the same. And the golden sovereign she laid down for fear she'd get the blame. The butcher then went home, he did, and laughed at what had passed. And little did he think this maid would have revenge at last. It was a twelvemonth after when he come to town again And there as he had done before he stopped at this same inn It was then the pretty chambermaid she happened him to see And she brought a child just three months old and set it on his knee The butcher then did wonder much and at the child he stare But when the joke he did find out how he did stamp and swear She says, kind sir, it is your own, you needn't think it's strange One sovereign you give to me and here I brought your change Unto the judge she made him go who happened to live near It cost him nigh on a hundred pound before he could get clear So all you brisk and frolicking lads with a mind to ramble and range If ever you sport with chambermaid you're bound to get your change As I was sitting with me glass and spoon One summer evening in the month of June The small bird sat on an ivy bunch And the song they sung was the jug of punch The small bird sat on an ivy bunch more devotion could a man require than to settle down by the alehouse fire with a fine red pip into crack and crunch and on the table a jug of punch with a fine red pip into crack and crunch and on the table Let the doctors come with all their arts They'll make no impression upon my heart 
Even the cripple forgets his hunch When he's snug outside of a jug of punch Even the cripple forgets his hunch When he's snug outside of a jug of punch If I drink too much, well, me money's me own and them as don't like it couldn't leave me alone But I'll tune me fiddle and I'll rosin me bow And I'll be welcome wherever I go But I'll tune me fiddle and I'll rosin me bow And I'll be welcome wherever I go And if I get drunk, well, that's nothing to you. Oh, me chug a punch and me chug a punch. This song I'm singing is the chug a punch. Oh, me chug a punch and me chug a punch. This song I'm singing is the chug a punch. Listen, me lads, and I'll tell you the tale of a parson who loved a maiden well. He come to her while she was in bed with a fancy to have her maiden head. Says she, I'd grant you your desire if it weren't for the fear of hell's old fire. Says, of oh, hell's old fire, please have no doubt. If you were in, I could whistle you out. Then says the maid, you'll have your request And the parson, he grinned like a fox in his nest But before that we may do this thing Some money unto me you must bring He brought the money and did it down tell She had a sheet spread over the well She thanked the parson and took his money Says he, now let's go to it, sweet honey But the fair maid cried that her father was come. Ho, ho, says the parson, where shall I run? Oh, you must go behind that screen, and then be my dad, you won't be seen. Behind the screen, the parson crept, and into the well of a sudden he leapt. He gave a great screech and a pitiful moan. Oh, help, oh, help, else I'll be drowned. You said you'd whistle me out of hell Now whistle your own self out of the well And as for your money, there's nothing to tell For you must pay for fouling the well Now all who heard commend the maid For the nimble trick that she have played And the parson he ran down the street Shaking his ears like a newly washed cheek It was three drunken huntsmen, and nothing could they find Until they come to a signpost, and that they left behind The Englishman said signpost, the Scotsman he said nay Bedad says Pat, it's a plum pudding tree, and the puddings has blown away Tally-ho, hark away, me boys away, hark away It was three drunken huntsmen, and nothing could they find But a frog in the well, me boys, and that they left behind Frog says the Englishman, the Scotsman, he said nay Me dad says pat a canary, but in his feathers is washed away Tally-ho, hark away, me boys, away, hark away Well, all night they hunted and nothing could they find But a dead man in the road, boys, and him they left behind A man says the Englishman, the Scotsman, he said nay A monkey says the Irishman, and his tail is cut away Tally-ho, hark away, me boys, away, hark away Well, the next day they hunted, and nothing could they find But a ship in full sail, at them that they left behind Bark and time, says the Englishman, the Scotsman, he said nay. Me dad says, Pat, is a washing tub and the clothes hung up to dry. Tally ho, hark away, me boys, away, hark away. Well, all that 
night they hunted and nothing could they find but an owl in an ivy bush and that they left behind. An owl says the Englishman, the Scotsman he said nay, it's the devil says the Irishman and the all of them run away. Tally ho, hark away me boys away, hark away. Grog, me jolly, jolly grog, all for me beer and tobacco. For we spent all that tin with the lasses drinking gin, and across the western ocean we must wander. Oh, where are me boots, me noggin, noggin boots, all gone for beer and tobacco. And the heels they are wore out, and the soles are knocked about, and me toes are looking out for better weather. So all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog, all for me beer and tobacco. For we spent all that tin with the lasses drinking gin, and across the western ocean we must wander. I'm sick in the head, for I haven't been to bed. Since first I come ashore with me plunder, I see centipedes and snakes, and I'm full of pains and aches. So I better make a push out over yonder. Oh, all for me grog, me jolly jolly grog. All for me beer and tobacco. For we spent all that tin with the lasses drinking gin, and across the western ocean we must wander. Where is me shirt, me noggin, noggin shirt? All gone for beer and tobacco. And the collar is wore out, and the front is knocked about, and the tail is looking out for better weather. So all for me grog, me jolly, jolly grog. All for me beer and tobacco. Oh, we spend all that tin with the lasses drinking gin, and across the western ocean we must wander. There were three drunken maidens come from the Isle of Wight. They drank from Monday morning, no stop till Saturday night. When Saturday night did come, my lads, they wouldn't then go out. Not them three drunken maidens as they pushed the jug about. Then in come bouncing Sally with her cheeks as red as a bloom. Move up me jolly sisters and give young Sally some room. For I'll be your equal before that I go out. So now four drunken maidens, they push the jug about. It was woodcock and pheasant and partridge and hare. And every sort of taint is no scarcity was there. There was forty quarts of beer, me boys, they fairly drank it out. And them four drunken maidens, they pushed the jug about. There come the landlord asking for his pay And a forty pound bill, me lads, some girls was forced to pay They had ten pound apiece, me boys, and yet they wouldn't go out But them four drunken maidens, they pushed that jug about Oh, where are your feathered hats, your mantles rich and fine? They've all been swallowed up in tankards of good wine. And where are your maiden heads, your maidens brisk and gay? We've left them in the alehouse, for we drunk them clean away. Good quarters 
I never thought of harm, no, never a thought of harm. My mistress, she come to the door and asked me to walk in. When I complained of the belly ache, she gave to me some gin. She gave to me some gin, me boys, with never a word to say. Well, there I was with me. And according we went straight away, we did according we went straight away. We hadn't been a court in not half an hour or more. Me mistress took so well to the sport, I thought she'd never give o'er. You won me heart forever, she cried, your master no more for me, for he can't manage that. Not half so well as thee, my love, not half so well as thee. Well, when me master, he come home, he asked me how I got on. I told him I'd minded his business, his servant's always done. He give to me best ale, me boys, and little did he know that I'd been there with me. If he had, he'd never done so, I'm sure if he had, he'd never done so. There was three men come out of the west, their fortunes for to try. And these three men made a solemn vow, John Barleycorn should die. They ploughed, they sowed, they hired him and throwed clods upon his head. And these three men made a solemn vow, John Barleycorn was dead. They let him lie for a very long time Till the rain from heaven did fall And little Sir John sprung up his head And that amazed them all They let him stand till midsummer And he growed both pale and wan Then little Sir John he growed a long beard And so became a man they hired men with a scythe so sharp to cut him off at the knee. And poor little Johnny Barleycorn, they served most barbarously. They hired men with the sharp pitchforks to pierce him to the heart. And the loader he served him worse than that, for he bound him to the cart. They wheeled him all around the field, a prisoner to endure. And in the barn poor Barleycorn, they laid him upon the floor. They hired men with the crab tree sticks to cut him skin from bone. And the miller he served him worse than that, for he ground him between two stones. I'll make a boy into a man, a man into an ass. I'll change your gold to silver, lads, and your silver into brass. I'll make the huntsman hunt the fox with never a hound or horn. I'll bring the tinker into jail, says old John Ballycorn. Oh, barley wine is the choicest drink that was ever drunk on land. It'll make a man do miracles by the turning of his hand. You can tip your brandy in a glass, your whiskey in a can. But barley corn and his not brown ale will prove the stronger man. jug of this 
Your tipple is all if you've half a crown. You're welcome all for to sit down. So call your drinks, think not amiss, and pop your nose in a jug of this. Oh, now I'm old and can scarcely crawl. I've an old grey beard and a head that's bald. Crown my desire and fulfill me bliss A pretty young girl and a jug of this Oh, when I'm in me grave and dead And all me sorrows are past and fled Transform me then into a fish And let me swim in a chug of this